Guys known as Sarah and Karen join us now. Very good morning Hi. to you. Hello. Well, fantastic. Well, I'm not. I'm going <laughs> to have to move away. I'm, I'm, I'm over excited. It's been like this all morning. Nice lighting and a couple of hair dryers. Oh, yeah, no. Something they don't manage here, is it? <laughs> don't say that. You look fantastic. You look absolutely so fabulous. And it's been, what, 20, hmm, 23 hmm. years? 23 years. Since, since Starting about 82, yeah. yeah. And did, I mean, did you go away, have a rest or whatever, I mean, is this a comeback or have you always been writing and thinking music? Yeah, we've always um, sort of kept our hand in and been writing, but in the 90s, we've been doing it for so long and had international success, we thought, let's step back and have some time off. And yeah. also we had kids yeah. and, uh, yeah, Jess took a break. Career and, break. Yeah. yeah. And one of you left, we should say, for Siobhan. those Siobhan. Siobhan. Yeah, 18, remembering 18, Banana yeah. Armour's yeah. yeah. 3. She left a long yeah. time ago, yeah. didn't yeah. she? Joined Shakespeare's sister, mm -hmm. wasn't it? That's right. Yeah. So when you came back and what you, you put out a dance track, didn't you? In was it July earlier this year? Or and it, we we had a single out, yeah, which um, did very well. Did, actually. It, it did, did very fantastically, well. yeah. wasn't it? We were, were you surprised? I don't think we had any expectations when we set out. We just really felt that we didn't want to do just that 80s thing. And I mean, as much as the, the sort of here and now tours that everyone does, they're sort mm. of good fun. Yeah. We didn't really want to be a part of that. We felt we had at least one more album in us that we really wanted to make. So uh, we, we held out and yeah, yeah. we made it so. It was just a really nice surprise yeah, when it was a hit. Oh, I'm hoping this one is as see well. The, yeah, moving on from the 80s, but I want to go back to the 80s. I'm sure there's a lot. When you started, I mean, you started with Fun Boy 3, didn't yes. you? More or less, we actually it's had a demo out just before, yeah. before that, and, and uh, Terry Hall from the specials and then Fun Boy 3 bought that single and loved it, so um, asked us to sing with him. So that was our kind of first move into the Okay, so the pop world. specials begat Fun Boy 3, which begat Banana Arm. This yeah. is like yeah. one of those Rock Family yeah. Trees thing, isn't it? So, I mean, when did you, and how did you feel when you went out there on your own? You know, you had Fun Boy 3, they're wonderful musicians, wonderful singers, wonderful writers and the rest of it. Then suddenly, you're out well, there. Well, I mean, we were more nervous, I think, about going in and singing with them. We just said, look, we're not proper singers, you know. Oh, here You know, we've here never done it before. Oh, God, look! Oh, <laughs> I that last night on TV. How, when did you see this? You're TV. just wincing, aren't you? Why don't you? Nice blush on. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, I used to dress like it's that every like time that, I went Sean, out. You set a trend. You really did. Well, yes. I mean, everyone seems to forget that the, the 80s was basically a fashion disaster from start <laughs> to finish, wasn't it? And it was back This homing. was all homemade. Look, look at that beautiful homemade striped vest I'm wearing. Was it? You <laughs> handmade all that yourself. You did your own outfits. On my grandma's sewing machine. No. Yeah, we used to pop down the market buy a bit of fabric <laughs> really Didn't have stylists in our day you know oh no what's what this? about that then you must have oh. a bit of styling on that it was though i mean oh, no, i mean it's the hat face we are not laughing face. at the at the fashions then but i mean this is what this Stop is what we dressed it like it was the height of it fashion. was the height of fashion yes. but that was what we dressed like wasn't it definitely i mean the other thing you became known for there's some of your top of the pot performances was of course those videos Fantastic. the ridiculous camp dance routines yeah. and the dressing up in videos yes well, we found that most amusing and the favorite part was always auditioning the dancers who we used to get in and audition with Bruno from Strictly Come Dancing. Oh, Bruno oh, Tony oh, yeah. darling, <laughs> say, darling, come in and take your trousers off and yes. just give us a bit of a twirl. <laughs> and we'd sit there howling with laughter. It must have been so humiliating for them. Talking of humiliating, no, I shouldn't really say that. <laughs> no, I wonder Not how anymore. you're... Uh, I wonder how... You, you've got teenage kids now? So yeah, he's 18. Yeah, all right. Are they all right with you going back out there and...? Yeah, well, Alice wasn't around first time round, so yeah. her era was the Spice Girls. They're not she, embarrassed, though. No, well, she always said, you weren't as famous as them, Mummy, were you? And I said, well, actually, I was. <laughs> she, Bigger than the yeah. Spice Girls. But um, oh. she came to the top of the pots when we did it recently, so that's quite, you know, yeah. buzz for her to be in the audience watching your mum on stage. Yeah. Uh, and for your 18-year-old, I mean, you, you're a bit retro, is that? It's all He's back, actually rather it? enjoying it. He, yeah. he came to um, one of our big gay shows recently and did some filming for us, and he just thought it was hilarious. He th just thought it was like a rock gig. I think he just thought everyone would be doing this or something, but <laughs> they were all going absolutely ballistic, and, and he's just... Because he went to Reading Rock, the rock festival, yeah. and that's what he loves, but... No, very proud of me, actually. Suddenly you realised he had a yes. superstar at home. Yes. yes, absolutely. Good for them. Yeah. Do they go to your gigs at all? As well? I mean, uh, Alice is a bit young. She's only 13. Yeah. So. 
I no. don't know that Tom would actually choose to come. He wouldn't choose to <laughs> well, so long But he'll so, come if I drag him along because he so gets what, a few free drinks. Yeah, so what exactly. happens next in terms of touring then? I mean, you mentioned. Uh, we would uh, love to tour next year. Um, the album's out, as you said, on the 14th. So hopefully, if everything goes well and it's a success, if there's um, a we, demand, we'd love to tour. Oh, so oh there will demand. be. Yes, like to yeah. hit the road one more time. Yeah, yeah. no, there yes. definitely will. Well, he'll be first in the queue. You've got to give him a guest list. You can come on the guest list. You can come on the guest list. I'll give you a backstage pass. <laughs> you carry on with the programme, though. <laughs> bit of weather. I'll leave him too. Yes, that's right. Shall I leave you to it? <laughs> Louise Lear's got the weather. Hello, Louise. <laughs> oh, quick look.